Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to JFD Trader Tea Time with me, Dyson Chauskas. Today is the 7th of April 2020, so yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome to this um, Tuesday's afternoon session where we're going to have a quick look at the markets, a few of the charts, the usual stuff. Um, but before we do that, as always, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimers. So, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation should not be considered as such and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, I'll give you a few seconds to read the rest and we can continue. Okay, so um, also just before we jump in uh, into the charts, quick um, quick mentioning of our GFD YouTube channel here, to which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. Um, and of course, our GFD Bank website and specifically our GFD research page, which we update on a daily basis. So yep, feel free to visit us here on jfdbank.com and click on the research tab right there. Now then, um, also, just a quick um, update on what's happening here um, in the world in terms of the coronavirus. Now, that was the previous number that you saw there. Um, and uh, what's happening here right now, yes, the number has grown a little bit, um, but still, well, I mean, still no, it is it is slowing down a little bit. However, uh, we are still, we need to see some sort of a consistent, um, a, sl a slowdown of in a f for a few days, maybe even a week in order to, um, let's say, uh, get a little bit more excited with all this. But for now it's, um, yeah, for now it is, it is what it is. Um, and it's not really looking good. Um, now then, uh, jumping into a few charts. Now this is, this is something that I talked about this morning. The German DAX here, uh, managed to push higher and managed to push above the, uh, the lowest point of 2018 which is roughly around the 10,280 uh, 10, zone. Um, it drifted higher, the index drifted higher and uh, kind of found some resistance near this little level, near the uh, 10,590 zone, from which it kind of re started reversing and now it's correcting a little bit lower. However, um, of course, uh, although it is kind of drifting a little bit to the downside right now, still everything's in more positive territory and uh, we are kind of... Um, we are looking quite good here, um, and in a way, there is there is a good potential for this one to drift higher. As I've mentioned uh, this morning, the our our target for right now will be around that 11,000 zone, so maybe just a little bit above it, around the 11,032. So keep your eyes on that one. Um, and uh, if by any chance this starting, suddenly starts dropping back below this uh, uh, psychological 10,000 territory, and we see a daily close below the the 10,000 mark, then well. I mean, we could see a bit of a decline here. However, as I've mentioned previously, the more comfortable level for us to, after which we could consider uh, further declines would be around here, around this 9,141 zone. For now, uh, we can see that the the, um, the downside is slightly off the table unless it's a little temporary correction. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now, with this one here, um, also uh, the index is looking, is looking quite interesting. Um, so, what I've mentioned yesterday when I was covering this one was that if we get a nice daily close above this territory here, the uh, 22,595 zone, then yes, there is a pot potential for this one to drift further north, uh, where the next potential target could be around the 23,180 zone here, marked by the high of the 13th of March. And uh, if that is just uh, seen as a temporary option, obstacle here, then the next further move higher could drift all the way here towards, could push the index all the way here towards that psychological 25,000 zone, uh, which is the high of the uh, 10th of March here. Now, um, looking at the cash index right now, because the market is still not opened, uh, looking at the cash index, we can see that the price is already balancing around the 23,380 zone. So basically above this barrier here. So basically that's a good indication. Um, in a way, the, the index could continue drifting higher. Yesterday we had a good gain around 7.7%. around seven um, So let's see how far and how much we can gain today or in general, if we can gain 
today but looking at this technical picture we can see that there is a potential for this one to drift higher we've broken this downside line here taken from the high of the 20th of February so now we can focus on another line this time it's an upside support line so let me just quickly draw this one right here um, and uh, as long as this upside line stays intact uh, yes we will continue targeting the upside however let's not forget that overall overall we're still in a downtrend so this move higher is seen as a temporary correction for now um, so that's why the bulls yes they can uh, probably enjoy their moment right now however if s reports start coming out from uh, surrounding the, the the coronavirus that the uh, the spread continues and the death toll continues to rise well this could quickly shift uh, back to the downside so for now probably the bulls should enjoy their moment uh, let's see how far this can uh, this index can be brought um, now then Jumping into a few commodities here now, uh, WTI oil, um, it's a little bit tricky. So after it kind of it, it pushed higher, um, you can see that this is um, this is the level that I keep talking about, this 26.08 zone. That's basically the lowest point of 2016. And uh, in my video yesterday, I've talked about WTI oil, what I was saying that if we see a bit of a correction here, but uh, the commodity remains above the 26.08 zone, then, well, I mean, we could see a nice uh, reversal here back to the upside if this area continues to hold. For now, it seems exactly that. So the area is kind of holding on right now. Um, but uh, of course, be very careful. We need to see a nice good rebound from here for now is just kind of balancing just slightly above it. So we will remain very cautious. Um, if by any chance we see a daily close below this territory, then well, not all is good here in, in this market and uh, we could see another slide. But as I've mentioned previously, for us to get comfortable with the downside, we need to see a drop below that um, psychological 20 mark and maybe not even uh, uh, a drop will what, as of more uh, of a close of a daily close that we need to see here in order to aim for uh, for further declines so again for now uh, we are seeing a bit of a correction uh, the price is currently getting a hold up near the 26.08 zone which is the lowest point of 2016 Let's see if it can hold here and if the bulls can kind of keep it afloat above this territory. And if they can, then, yep, we may see a bit of another push higher here. So keep your eyes on this one. Uh, gold. So uh, here, uh, it's uh, this is something that I talked about this morning. And basically, let me just jump into a four hour chart. So this morning, what I was talking about that we may see a bit of a correction here to the downside. But if this area here, the 1645 holds, we could see a nice rebound, which is happening right now. So perfect uh, move. Um, and uh, of course, coming back into the daily chart here, you can see that yes, for now it's kind of uh, it's nowhere. It's moving sideways for the day, uh, but however, it remains above the 1645 territory. And if it continues to travel, uh, continues to trade above this territory, then yes, we will remain somewhat positive. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, what you could keep an eye on, of course, is this barrier here around the 1680 territory. And uh, if we get a nice pop above that, then yes, uh, this would uh, confirm a, a forthcoming higher high. And uh, well, we could aim for that highest point of March, which is around the 1703 mark. So keep your eyes on that one. Again, for now, we are still more positive than negative. But um, if by any chance this one decides to close below the, uh, the decides, decides to close close this uh, the daily candle below the a daily candle below the uh, 1645 territory then uh, we'll remain cautious because this could lead to a uh, another test of this upside support line taken from the low of the uh, 21st of May 2019 so keep your eyes on that one now another interesting uh, precious metal that you probably don't look at very often and that's platinum um, so I we kind of try to look for uh, opportunities everywhere but uh, here uh, basically you can see a nice uh, potential bullish formation um, however until we get at this is this this is quite similar like with the um, um, with the indices that I went with the same DAX uh, when I talked about DAX that we were forming somewhat of a potential bullish flag here um, so we are having something uh, similar here as well on platinum uh, but however as the same story is with the DAX we need to see a confirmation break here first before considering higher levels so in a way uh, a push above 
of the 756 territory here or even a, a better a close a daily close above this territory could do the trick for more buyers and we could see this one uh, traveling higher for now uh be very careful uh be very cautious and uh yep uh, let's see how this is going to play out uh in terms of the downside pretty straightforward if we get a drop below the 704 territory here which is the low of the first of april or in other words the current low of april um then yes we could see a, uh, a new low for april if we see a drop below the 704 territory and uh, then we'll consider uh, a move further down guys for now uh this is looking quite interesting I would say from the uh, from the upside perspective but we need that confirmation break first before uh, we could consider um, before we could consider some higher levels here so basically keep your eyes on this barrier right here guys and uh, let me just quickly put an arrow here for our future reference there we go so it's something that we could refer to next time um, AUD USD um, so this is something that I talked about as well um, and recently and basically I was telling you guys to keep an eye on this one uh, the 0 0.6214 uh, territory as you can see uh, we are pushing higher um, and uh, we are getting close to this barrier here um, so basically all this is looking also quite interesting for the bulls um, so if we do get a nice daily close above the territory and we are not not far from this already so if we do get a nice daily close then yes this increases the chances of a potential move further north but again this fur this move further north could still be seen as a temporary uh, correction because we are below this downside line taken from the high of the 1st of January so basically keep your eyes on this one be very careful guys uh, but it, like I said it is looking quite interesting don't rush into this yet because don't forget that we may get a, even a false breakout here um, and the then the rate could drift back down close somewhere close the day below this and then for example tomorrow it could drift lower so uh, we could end up having ourselves a uh, a nice range here so that's why I we at least we're trying to minimize our risk um, and um, we're trying to kind of conf get some confirmations first before kind of entering the market but again like I said you guys you you know better what you, what's more convenient for you so you decide on it and uh, like I said the uh, idea here for now is um, if we do get a nice strong move above this 0 0.62 for, uh, 14 territory this increases the chances of a potential move higher because again uh, don't get me wrong this could travel a little bit higher here test this area for example around the 0 0.63 12 zone and then reverse back to the downside so we've seen uh, something like that happening many times so that's why we will uh, go step by step land and the idea here for example if we do get a push higher above this then if we're let's say if we are in um, in profit in 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 this move then we would quickly place our stop loss just before uh, the entry just to break even in case this suddenly sharply reverses back to the downside again we uh, like I said we try to be uh, as safe as possible um, so yep that's why we will uh, for now be very careful with this one and uh, keep keep our eyes on the 0.6214 zone um, jumping into GBP uh, JPY this is a, it's something that I talked about this morning um, now this pair here is finally pushing higher so I talked about this one and what I was saying that if we get a nice pop, pop above the 1.134.32 uh, zone and then we get a nice push above the 200 EMA here on the four hour chart this in a way uh, could give some hopes uh, for the bulls um, for more bulls and we could see this one drifting further north for now um, we are uh, at a very interesting spot here so yes it is breaking right now however uh, we need to see a nice uh, close at least of a four hour candle above the because as you can see uh, the previous candle did not really close above this so again don't get me wrong uh, we could see this one pushing higher and uh, um, the candle it, we, uh, we this candle could in a way still close below back drift back down and close below this territory and then well I mean this is where it could be a, a bit of a feast for the bears so that's why guys for now be very careful yes it is pushing higher um, however uh, keep your eyes on this one keep your eyes on the close of this four hour candle and then we'll take it from there um, 
euro turkish lira now something that you probably don't look at very often but i uh, just wanted to quickly run this one by you because um yes of course as you can see this this pair continues to accelerate higher and continues to move to the upside um it has now approached this key area of resistance which is around the uh 7.3653 three territory roughly around there guys it did overshoot it a little bit today and uh, looking at this four hour chart you can see that it drifted back down so basically um, this is the a perfect example of when a, a previous barrier here this key important level um, is acting as a good area of resistance and we did we did get a bit of an overshoot but as you can see the four hour candle doesn't want to close uh, above it so um, if we do get a close above this then yes this uh, this would confirm a forthcoming higher high and uh, we'll, we could see this one traveling higher for now be very careful um, we are at a very interesting spot right now if this gets broken um, eventually today for example then yes uh, we could see this one drifting further north and we will then aim for levels uh, well levels that we last last saw here in 2018 um, and uh, basically levels like um, the highs here so um, there's a bunch of good levels to watch however like I said for now let's not rush into this let's keep an eye on this one let's see how this is gonna play out and if we do see if we do see a nice close at least a four hour candle above this barrier then yes there is a possibility for this one to drift further north uh, for now keep on watching this one uh, like I said it's very interesting um, and uh, it that's of course if you do like uh, some exotic pairs uh, to trade sometimes uh, but uh, yeah uh, for now this is looking a little let's say we are ca cautiously bullish uh, because for us to get excited about the downside at least uh, a little bit uh, lower then we would like to see a drop below the 7.16 territory here and then yep we could aim for a bit of downside for now it seems that the downside is slightly off the table uh, euro dollar finally so uh, this is what I talked about this morning and let me just jump into a four hour chart so this is what I talked about this morning that uh, we were uh, this morning we were hanging around here and there this downside line and what I was saying that even if we get a nice break above this downside line still the more comfortable level for us after which we could aim for higher levels is the 1.0888 so as you can see uh, we are pushing higher now right now yes um, our next little pit stop could be around the 1.0952 territory somewhere around here and uh, it will be quite interesting to see if we actually can test the 200 EMA here as well however um, to be honest probably don't really on in this particular situation maybe don't really focus too much on the 200 EMA on the four hour chart here because previously as you can see kind of got violated here so in a way we'll what we are going to focus here on will be our uh, support and resistance levels in this case will be the resistance level and the first one to watch is of course this 1.0952 territory which previously acted as a fantastic area of support and resistance. Uh, let's see if it can hold uh, the the pair down again um, as it did here on the 2nd of April um, don't get me wrong we could see a bit of an overshoot here and uh, this is where maybe we could test that 200 EMA here on the four hour chart but um, if still if the bulls are do not have enough uh, strength to push this one higher then we could see this one reversing back down maybe um, we could see something like this uh, where the pair could drift lower test this one to this test this 1.0888 zone it could act as a good area of support once again and uh, then we could see a nice rebound and a push higher so of course I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here I'm trying to uh, predict already too much however uh, could be a nice potential uh, scenario but all this will of course depend first of all if we get a nice close if this four hour candle closes above this territory above this 1.0888 if it does then we'll aim for the uh, 1.0952 or this 200 EMA um, and if this territory holds now this is when we will consider this potential uh, little correction and then a push another push higher so keep your eyes on this one guys for now this is looking quite interesting um, <clears throat> And uh, let's see if the, we can test uh, the 1.0952 zone and the 200 EMA maybe as well. So on the two on the four hour chart here, if that gets broken, then well, I mean, further acceleration to the upside is possible. The next level to consider is around the 1.1037. So keep your eyes on that one. In case this suddenly, let's say, drops back below this, below this 1.0888 and stays here, well, 
not all is good probably in the bull block and uh, uh, we'll get first of all actually let's get rid of this downside line we no longer need it but what we're gonna focus here on is of course this 1.0777 if we get a nice good close at least of a four hour candle below this then yes we will aim for further declines for now uh, it seems that the um, the downside is slightly off the table um, so yep we will continue targeting the upside at least in the short run so guys I really hope you found it useful and uh, thank you very much for sticking around and watching until the end I really appreciate you guys I uh, appreciate your your views your likes and everything which you're what you're doing um, so yep thank you very much guys and I really hope you're finding this one useful um, for now I hope you have a beautiful evening guys um, and or actually wherever you are uh, well we are based in Europe so I hope you have a fantastic evening for the in America have a wonderful start of the day uh, well in uh, in Asia uh, probably good night right now so uh, so yeah guys anyway long story short I uh, Catch my video tomorrow, uh, my espresso video, after uh, around 6 o'clock GMT uh, time, uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, of course. So, yep, uh, I hope you will, uh, will, like I said, we'll pick up on some of these instruments as well, some new ones, and uh, we'll see how everything's, uh, how everything's getting along in the market. Now then, bye-bye.